Hello everyone out there, anyone out there who happens to have found this channel. This is my first attempt at ever doing anything on YouTube. So, after doing a whole bunch of times of just whining and complaining into the microphone to see if I could think of anything, I randomly remembered that I have a poetry book that I did make in college a couple semesters ago, and I figured, why not read through that? And so I read through it and found a couple of things and relived a few emotions and thoughts and figured the thing I should probably do first is the thing that is bothering me the most. So my poetry book was called Insides on the Outside, very creative. <laughs> Maybe I will sporadically come back to this. Um, so I will start with a poem called Son of a Beast. It is written from my five-year-old son's perspective. He is actually six now. His name is Maxwell Logan. So, as I read through, you'll hear a child speak, so bear with me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Sometimes Daddy has times where something reminds him of dark times. When war screams from far away and the monsters come, screaming inside his brain and changing him, like a fire in his belly that won't go out. Not until it burns someone he loves, then goes down enough to come off his eyes, showing daddy who he hurt. His words cut deeper than his claws ever could. Daddy cries beast tears. The tears of a guy who knows what he's doing only after he did it. Thrashing and snarling, I know he still loves me. He cries his tears into my wounds. With pain in his eyes and sorry on his lips, he reminds me. You are safe from all the other beasts because your daddy is the biggest of them all. So I wrote that because of my three children, my oldest being Max. He was my first experience having children and no blame being given to anyone. I I had some gaps in understanding what it was like to grow up with two parents. So I kind of had to figure it out as I went. And that leaves not only just normal times where you don't understand something, but it also gets mixed in with all your other problems, like all your your mental health issues and if you have depression or any kind of things like OCD or other things like that. It just gets compounded into this mess. It's manageable, but it's messy. But I wrote that because when my son used to be afraid of his imagination and talk about monsters or beasts or whatever, we tried to make this distinction between beasts and monsters. That monsters didn't exist but beasts did, because animals were beasts. Anything like that was a beast, and those things existed, but they didn't come in our house. And I told him when he was younger, the reason that they didn't come in, because they were afraid of me. Because you, as a dad, you've got to pump yourself up and make yourself out to be this impenetrable fortress of strength that they can rely on. And... As he got older and he understood things more, I started to be more honest with him about the problems that I had with being angry and not being able to control my outbursts sometimes because I'm just getting so stressed out and so filled with anxiety that I had to explain to him that 
the reason why all the other monsters or the other beasts didn't come and bother us was because I was the worst one of them. And I guess if you're going to have somebody on your side, it, <laughs> having the ugliest, nastiest beast probably makes you still feel safe, even though it's kind of demented in a way. But thankfully, one thing that I picked up along the way was if you're not going to be good at doing something like parenting, if you're going to have issues just because of who you are and who you were, how you're raised and what you picked up along the, the way, be good at sorries. Don't be too proud to apologize. And don't be afraid to catch yourself in the middle of destroying whatever you're doing, whatever problem you're causing, whoever you're hurting. Don't be afraid to stop when you realize it. And let it go and instantly acknowledge that you've been doing something that was messed up and wrong. Don't be scared to break the cycle. Because I know as a man, sometimes your pride keeps you from shutting up. And you only realize it until well after you're done destroying somebody's emotions. But I guess for now... That's all I've got. Maybe that helped somebody. Maybe it was just for me. Either way, maybe I'll do some more of these. Have a good night, everyone. Peace.